Folks, welcome back to Block Party. I've got a K9 heat alarm here. A little bit of a break from uh, stereos and amplifiers, stereos and Legos. Um, this is a K9 heat alarm. Uh, it comes in this uh, hard shell case here. And I'm just going to kind of put this off to the side. Move this like this. And uh, there's a shell. It's not Pelican or anything. It's not branded or anything like that. Um, you power the unit up, charge it. You can use a... Uh, use a uh, device here you can charge charge the system from vehicle cigarette lighter it takes three hours to charge approximately so you can use this to charge it um and then and then i can test it here so i can show you that it's actually working um so this is far if you have dogs in cars and and stuff like that this is ace k9 heel arm h a dash 2010 dash i that's the name it's got a carbon monoxide detector on it I'll flip it around here on this side there's a whole bunch of ports here we've got two ports for heat we've got these here which i'm going to show you these in a second these are like temperature probes in here uh we've got the carbon monoxide port right here Let's see if that's a green light So, right on, let's see if that, okay. come back to that. You've got an antenna port. Here's the, here's the antenna. Short range portable cellular antenna. So I think there's a, a, another uh, thing that pairs with this that goes right here. Here's the actual, um, safety alert carbon monoxide alarm. And so when I turn it on, you're gonna see this is gonna turn on here. And if it's flashing red or green, that means low low voltage or replacement. It's not doing that right now. So uh, it does say replaced by June, 2010. So I'm guessing this was probably replaced. Um, yeah, it was replaced at some point. So because it works and then, so yeah, there's that. Um, and what else do we have going on here? I guess you can put this like in an RV or something like that. If you have an animal in an RV, probably be a pretty good, pretty good user for that. All right, let's go ahead and power this thing on. I'm going to show you how the temperature probes work. I'm just going to use my hands to do this. So we're going to power it on. It's going to run through a couple tests. Let's see if we can get this on here first. There's a little switch right here it's almost like the like the suitcase so we're gonna power that one on there it's gonna say something like um probe not, not installed or something like that it's gonna start beeping so serial number temperature reading in fahrenheit Hot threshold set to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Now you can change that. Please, sensors error, open. So it's gonna start, start beeping there. So that's what these are. That means these aren't attached. So we're just gonna attach these in. These are little like RJ11 cables. So there you go, there's one. Two is still open. So 75.7. So you can have one or two sensors. You don't have to have them both. Here comes the second sensor. There you go, 76. So I'm going to I'm going to hold on to one of these sensors here and we'll see it start changing. There it is. So I'm holding on to number two, 78.6. 3.1. I've got it in my fist here. I could probably do a 7.4. I wonder if I can get it up to 90. 8.8. almost there.
There it is, pretty low mode, see? It's getting hot. So, I'll let go of that. It's dropping down right now. So then we've got this device as well. So that's flashing green, that means it's good to go. No alarm event. Good, now it turns off. So basically you can get this so it goes to a device. That's why you have like the, the wireless and everything else. So just wanna show you that it actually works and you could use this in your vehicle, but you would have to, you just go to acek9.com and it'd be able to tell you what else you're gonna to need to interface with this. Um, yeah, alarm was active. So it'll tell you on the screen here, hot alarm was active. It'll tell you on there and all exclamation points. So there's that and uh, find this on our store, probably put it up starting at like 400 on auction or something and see how that goes. Thanks for watching guys. And if you have any questions, shoot me a message.